Are you feeling stuck in your life right now? Does it seem like no matter what you do, your reality just won't change? You might be looking around and thinking, how can I manifest my desire when everything around me looks the opposite? If this sounds like you, then you're in the right place, because today I'm going to tell you why circumstances don't matter. Yes, you heard that right, circumstances don't matter. This is one of the biggest truths Neville Goddard shared, but it's also something that most people struggle to accept. We're so used to reacting to what we see, believing that the outside world is in control. But here's the truth, your outer world is just a reflection of your inner state. The real power is within you, and once you understand this, everything changes. Let's get one thing clear, your current situation is not the problem. It's the result. It's just the end product of what you've been feeling, thinking, and believing about yourself. If you look at your life right now and you don't like what you see, it's not because you're unlucky or life is unfair. It's because your inner state, your self-concept, is creating it. Neville Goddard often said, man's chief delusion is his conviction that there are causes other than his own state of consciousness. What does this mean? It means that nothing outside of you is to blame. Not your job, not your specific person, not even your past. Everything happening in your life is being created by your inner state, and the good news is, you can change it. The mistake most people make is focusing on the outside world, thinking they need to fix their circumstances first. They say things like, if only I had more money, I'd feel secure, or if only my specific person would text me, I'd feel loved. But this way of thinking is exactly why nothing changes. Are you guilty of doing this too? Do you also think like this? If yes, be honest and tell me in the comments section. In my earlier days, I too used to think like this. I was unaware of the fact that everything is already present within me. I have access to every feeling in this world. It is due to my mental activity. I thought in a certain manner that made me feel those feelings. Suppose I was with a group of people, and upon returning, one of my friends told me what the other person was saying about me. Then, this thought made me angry, and this anger will stay with me for many hours that kept me in a lower state of consciousness. The best thing at that moment would be to let go of this feeling and shift to a higher state of consciousness. It is very important because our inner reality is responsible for the external reality. If you hold certain feelings and thoughts within you on a consistent basis for a long period of time, then they manifest into your reality. They show up in your reality in the form of certain circumstances. This is why you hear many successful people telling you it does not matter where you are. The only thing that matters is where you want to go. A few years ago, I used to watch videos of many philosophers and successful people. They kept on telling me that you cannot control your outer circumstances. All you can control is yourself. The only power you have is to control your state of being. Later, when I started reading about this concept of manifestation, a doubt appeared in my mind that said, if I cannot control my external circumstances, then how can I bring about changes in my external world? It was like, if I cannot do anything about my external circumstance, then how can I get the thing I desire? This doubt arose within me. I kept on thinking about it, and I didn't find any YouTube channel that cleared these doubts for me. Even today, there are very few channels that talk about manifestation in detail. Rest, every channel is just talking on a surface level, telling you that your circumstances do not matter. I too heard about it. But this statement didn't satisfy me, I kept on thinking why it does not matter. I wanted to know why because our ego or identity can only see that it knows. Our ego only thinks that if we cannot control anything, then we are powerless. So, this doubt remained with me for a longer period of time. I kept on thinking if I cannot control my external circumstance, then I cannot get what I desire. Later, when I started reading about Neville Goddard's work, my doubts started to disappear, my mind became clear, and I started to understand the statements made by philosophers and successful people. I finally understood what they meant when they said, you cannot always control what goes on the outside, but you can always control what goes on the inside. I finally realized these golden words, and my mind was blown away when I connected the dots. So, listen to me carefully. Neville always said that our external world is just a reflection of our inner world. This means that the state of consciousness that we dominantly hold is presented to us in our external world. The way we think and the way we feel get reflected in our external circumstances. This means that only our internal world is responsible for manifesting our external circumstances. Our external circumstances are just manifestations of our internal state. So, when we control our internal state, we manifest that state externally. Your internal state is always in your hands, it is always under your control. What you think and how you feel are always in your control. Even if you are reading something and it is making you think in a certain manner, then also it is in your control. You can either stop reading it or you can choose to think in a different manner. Even if someone says something to you, then the response is also in your control. Your inner state is always in your control. So, in a way, your external circumstances are also in your control. 
Your future circumstances are in your control, and it depends upon the state of consciousness you hold within yourself dominantly right now. What you are dominantly identifying yourself with today will be shown back to you in the future. What I have noticed is that people are too much concerned about their past. They hold their past so tightly that they still think about the bad things that happened 10 years ago. And now when they think about it, they enter the state and feel the emotions of sadness and anxiety even when the circumstances happened years ago. They keep on feeling guilty about it, or they feel like a victim, both of which make you manifest unfavorable circumstances in the future. The one who lets go of the past, the one who moves on from the past feelings and thoughts, can manifest greater things into their life. Even right now, if you are facing some issues in your external circumstance, then remember that it is due to your past thinking, it is due to your past internal state. Just acknowledge it, and instead of complaining about it and thinking why this happens to you, simply close your eyes and choose the state you want. Stop looking at your external circumstances that much, they are not in your control, your inner state is in your control, and your inner state is going to manifest your external circumstances. You're giving your power away to things outside of you. You're saying that your happiness and success depend on something external. But that's backwards. The outside world is just a mirror, reflecting what you believe inside. If you want to see a different reflection, you have to change what's happening within you first. Imagine standing in front of a mirror, frowning, and expecting the reflection to smile back at you. It's not going to happen. You need to change your expression first, and then the reflection will change. It's the same with your life. Change your inner state, and your circumstances will change. Let's say you're trying to manifest a loving relationship, but all you see right now is rejection or loneliness. Most people react to this by feeling even worse, thinking, see, this is proof that I'm not lovable. But what you don't realize is that your reaction is creating more of the same. You're stuck in a loop because your inner state is reinforcing your current reality. Instead, pause and ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? What story am I telling myself about this situation? If you're feeling unloved, it's because you're carrying a self-concept that says, I'm not good enough or I always get ignored. That's what needs to change, not the outer circumstances. So how do you actually do this? How do you change your inner state when everything around you looks the opposite of what you want? Here's a simple exercise you can try right now. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now, imagine the version of you who already has what you want. If you're manifesting a relationship, imagine yourself with your partner, feeling loved, cherished, and appreciated. Feel what it's like to be in that relationship. Let the feelings of love and joy fill you up. This is key. You need to feel this inner state as if it's already true, even if your current reality looks the opposite. Don't wait for the outside world to change first. The change has to start from within. Neville called this living in the end. It means assuming the feeling of your desire already being fulfilled. You're not hoping or wishing, it's knowing. Once you reach the knowing state, you stop doubting. Also, you stop finding reasons why it will happen or won't happen. You become peaceful, and you are satisfied. Majority people even lose the desire at this time, and this is when your manifestation appears. When people listen to it, they think that they have to lose the desire, they have to let go of the desire. They try to force it, but it does not work. The only way it works is when you live in the end or you live from the end. The only way it happens is when you feel the state of wish fulfilled. It happens when you feel fulfilled inside to an extent that you no longer seek it. It happens automatically once you start living in the end. One of the biggest traps people fall into is constantly checking their circumstances. They do their affirmations and their visualizations, and then immediately look for signs in the outside world. They think, did they text me yet? Did my bank balance change? This is a huge mistake. Every time you check your circumstances, you're reinforcing the belief that they matter. You're giving them power over you. Remember, circumstances are just old news. They're the result of your past state of being. If you keep reacting to them, you keep recreating the same reality. Instead, focus on your inner state. Stay in the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Trust that the outer world will catch up. It has no choice but to conform to your new inner state. The more you persist in your new self-concept, the faster your reality will change. If you take away one thing from this video, let it be this, circumstances do not matter. They're just a reflection of your past beliefs and thoughts. Stop giving them power. Stop letting them dictate what's possible for you. Instead, turn your focus inward. Change your self-concept. Live in the feeling of your desire already being fulfilled. Your job isn't to figure out how or when it will happen, that's the job of the universe. Your job is to stay faithful to your inner vision, no matter what. Remember, you are the creator of your reality. Your current circumstances are just a temporary reflection of your old state of mind. If you want to see different results, start by changing your inner state today. And if you need more help staying focused on your new self-concept, I've created an affirmation tape that will help you change your self-concepts. 
Click on the first video that now appears on the top right corner of the screen.